Hi, I'm Michelle. I'm Riley. And we're here to talk to you today about net metering and the changes that are coming to the rooftop solar industry. So Riley, let's go ahead and start with uh, the basics. What is net metering? Net metering is a program designed for rooftop solar owners. It's basically a system where um, your the meter that you have on your home when you produce electricity kind of rolls back. The idea is that um, you're getting credits for extra energy energy that you're producing through a rooftop uh, solar system. So it's a program that's been in place since the early or the late 90s. It was designed to kind of introduce um, and spur the development of solar of renewable energy. And it's kind of been like slowly ticking upwards up until the 2015 session where both you and I know how crazy things got. Yeah, so Nevada was approaching a cap on how much rooftop solar capacity it could have. Uh, so to try to uh, address this, they decided to let the PUC determine what rates people would have on their solar panels um, after they reached this cap. Then it went to the PUC, and the PUC ended up approving a rate structure that made it definitely not worth people's while to invest a lot of money in solar panels because the amount of money they would save in the long run in their energy bill just wouldn't cover the cost of the initial investment. So what we saw was a drastic reduction in the number of people that chose to install a rooftop solar system in Nevada. And the numbers went from about 22,000 in 2015 to less than 300 in 2016. So you know, solar companies got up and left, Sunrun, uh, a lot of these people had to do massive layoffs and a lot of the business community went down. You had protests at the PUC, you had Mark Ruffalo at the PUC protesting against this. So it was definitely a huge issue and we knew it was gonna come back to a head in 2017. The PUC made that decision because they said the people with solar panels were getting such a generous deal that they were, um, that the non-solar customers were subsidizing them to keep those generous rates going. Uh, there's still a lot of dispute about whether there's this subsidy that, um, that's talked about. Yeah. Uh, but the bottom line is that a lot of jobs left, a lot of people don't find it worth it to install solar panels, and there's a movement to try to bring back rooftop solar in Nevada. So what we have now is a bill from Democratic Assemblyman Justin Watkins that is going to turn back the clock and give people the rates that they got before the 2015 uh, legislative session kind of shook things up. What else does it bring to the table? So the bill also sets a floor for the uh, price per megawatt hour, so the price of electricity for solar. And Watkins has been open with you, he's been open with us, he was open during the committee meeting today that this is, you know, this is a negotiation point. We're going to start here, and it's going to go somewhere different. So that's going to be a big point of contention, but that is something new. It's something that wasn't there in 2015. It was trying to set a floor on how much um, solar, how much the state considers solar to be worth. And I think it's 11 cents combined when you count the two factors, which is around the current price, the current retail price for solar. Um, and then some questions have been raised about, you know, what happens 20 years down the line. Um, but that's another one of the big provisions of the bill. So basically it says when the PUC sets a rate for solar customers to sell their energy back onto the grid, it can't go below this certain rate. Because when it goes below that certain rate, then suddenly it's not worth people's while to do business in Nevada as a rooftop solar company. Mm -hmm. um, we also saw another proposal today, and it was from Envy Energy. And what they're thinking is, what does it look like after we, um, when, when we're done with this net metering mode, uh, what does the future look like? And their proposal is that there would be competitive bidding. Competitive bidding. Um, basically, their proposal is that uh, rooftop solar companies would go on the market, they would put out bids to say, we can produce this much electricity at this price, and the energy, the main utility, would take those bids, they take the lowest one, then those rooftop solar companies could go out in the market and install that rooftop solar. Um, so it's a totally different way of thinking about net metering, it's a different way of structuring the system. They think it's gonna be very good for the customer because you're getting um, the cheapest 
uh, retail rooftop solar rate that you can get. It's good for Enry Energy because now they don't have to worry about going to the PUC and fighting this battle every time about what the rate for rooftop solar should be. Um, they're still working out some of the details. Uh, they just had a presentation. They didn't have specific bill language, and I think we heard from them, and they were very open that they're. this is an ongoing discussion. Sausage still has to get made somehow. So that's still in the preliminary stages, but that's what um, NV Energy is hoping to get out of this. So basically, instead of lawmakers and regulators fighting amongst themselves over how much customers should get when they sell energy back to the grid, it would be a system that's decided more by the market. Mm -hmm. And a solar company could go out and say, I want to help you guys uh, develop 10 megawatts of solar. So I'm going to do it for this price. And I'm going to, and then they go out and they get customers to buy rooftop solar systems to help Envy Energy meet that contract goal that they have. Yeah. And we'll see what, you know, Justin Watkins says, what other legislators say. This is Energy's idea. And so, there's a lot more to it, but I think you know it was very clear today there was no opposition testimony to this. I think there was an appetite among legislators and the public to bring back some form of net metering. I think that's it for now. Thanks for watching.